In this lecture, we'll be covering about the basics of antenna. First of all, what is meant by antenna and what is its importance? Antenna is a metallic device for radiating or receiving radio waves. It is the main element of a wireless communication system. It is used for long distance communication. The main property of an antenna is called reciprocity. That is, the same antenna can be used for both transmission and receiving. The antenna converts electrical current into electromagnetic waves while transmitting them and also converts electromagnetic waves back into electrical current while receiving them. There are different types of antenna based on the direction of propagation of radio waves. First one is omnidirectional antenna. In this, it can propagate radio waves in all directions. That is, it can propagate in 360 degrees. The main example is a half-wave dipole antenna, which is most popular and it consists of two pieces of wire or rod. It is also called as a doublet or Hertz antenna. The frequency of its operation is half of its wavelength and hence it is called half-wave dipole antenna. The second type is called as a directional antenna which is used to propagate signal as a narrow beam. The main example is a parabolic reflecting antenna which is of 3D shape and that of a shape of a parabola. It revolves around an axis and the most popular shape is that of a dish and it is also called as a dish antenna. It has got high directivity that is it can produce the narrowest of beam width. It has also got high gain. Now this is the principle of an antenna. It is called radial field around an electron. By Maxwell's equation, a time varying current or an accelerated charge will radiate energy. A stationary charge will create an electric field around it. But if the charge is moving, a magnetic field will be also created. So consider this equation. This is an electric field that is induced by a stationary charge. It is directly proportional to the acceleration of the electric field and also theta is the angle between line of sight and the direction of acceleration. C is the speed of light and electromagnetic waves travel at the speed of light. The mutual interaction of time varying electric field and magnetic field will produce an electromagnetic field. We saw that a stationary charge will produce only an electric field but a moving charge will produce a magnetic field which is perpendicular to that of the electrical field. The time varying electrical field and magnetic field are perpendicular to each other and produces an electromagnetic wave that propagates at the speed of light. If transmission line is straight, then there will be no radiation. But if the transmission line is curved, bent or discontinuous, then there would be radiation. 